Hi, welcome back to The Distressed Princess. I'm Rhonda and I like to do all kinds of crafts on my channel. So without anything else being said, let's just start crafting. So I was awake in bed the other night thinking on how I would make little miniature tear tray size gnomes. And I thought, hey, I could use a glove, like the fingers of the glove could be a hat. I think that that would be easy. And some Jenga blocks to make it stand up, that would be the body. And this was all coming together in my head. I thought I was being so original. <laughs> and then when I got on YouTube to see, you know, what other people do to make their gnomes, lo and behold, somebody actually came up with this idea before me. And her name is Emily Leffler. And she does a great job using um, a glove to make some ornament gnomes. So I can't claim credit for this idea. I like to give credit where credit is due. But... This is a great way to make miniature gnomes. That is macrame cord that I'm using for the beard. You'll need a wood bead for the nose. Also, you'll need thread and something to comb the cord out with, which I'm using a pet my cat brush. <laughs> so to make the body of the gnome, the first thing I did was cut off the cuff of the glove. Then I fit the Jenga block inside to see about how much I need to cut off of the glove just in order to wrap the Jenga block around. I keep calling it a Jenga block, but it's really not. It's one of those tumbling tower blocks from the Dollar Tree. And you can also get gloves from the Dollar Tree. This is a very, very inexpensive project and way to decorate your tear trays. So after I have cut my glove down, and I realized I didn't cut it down enough. I have to cut it again because you just want it to wrap around the block. And then once you get it cut to size, just hot glue it in place. I'm using macrame cord because that's what I had at my house to use but any of, uh, you could use mop strings from the Dollar Tree, or I've seen people use pieces of material fur, which I think is really pretty, but I'm just using what I had, so you use what you have. I cut 10 pieces of the macrame cord, and then I cut them to the length of the tumbling tower block, and then I hot glue them down to the top of the block. Be very careful not to get any glue on the strings other than where you are attaching them because then you won't be able to brush the strings out. They'll be glued together. Just for added security, I hot glued around the top of the block, making sure that the material was stuck down. Now, in my opinion, this is the most fun part of making this gnome in particular, is brushing out this macrame cord. Just using my cat hair brush, but you could use a comb or probably any other kind of brush. You, I just brushed these out and it becomes like hair. And I imagine maybe yarn would work this way too if you don't have 
um, any macrame cord. <laughs> I don't even, uh, don't get me started on why I even have macrame cord. I, I tried it for a while, but you see how much of that I had left. Anyway, as I was brushing out my hair, <laughs> some of it was coming out, but that's okay because enough of it stays on that it's good. To make the hat, I decided for this gnome to cut off the middle finger. I figured the middle finger was the longest and I wanted this hat to be longer. So I just cut off a finger of the glove and then I'll use a piece of thread to tie around the top of the finger and this will make sort of a ball at the top. You want it just at the very tippy, tippy, tippy top and tie a double knot as tight as you can. It'll make like a ball at the top of the hat. Now at the bottom of the finger, you can roll the hat up like a sock hat. Here is where all these little materials really start forming a gnome when you put the hat on his head. When you put the hat on his head, then you want to hot glue it down to make sure his little hat stays on his head. Then part his hair in the middle and put a dot of hot glue for his nose to go on. And it was at this very second when I glued his nose on that something magical happened. I decided I really like gnomes. This is the second one that I've made and here is the first one. He's my boy gnome. And if you want to make a boy gnome, just stop right here, put his hair back together toward the center and cut the sides at an angle like this. But since I already have a boy gnome, this other gnome that I'm making now, I decided should be a little girl gnome and her hair should be braided. I secured the end of the braid with a piece of thread. Double knot the thread and cut off the ends. She wouldn't be a very girly gnome if she didn't have ribbons in her hair. So I used this ribbon that I got at the Dollar Tree and it was too big for my little miniature gnome girl. So I cut the ribbon up the center and made two teeny tiny little bows. And I can't say that this was easy because they had to be so small that it was hard to tie a bow that small. If you don't have a tear tray to display your gnomes, I don't have a tear tray right now either. So this is another thing that you can do. These are things that I got from the Dollar Tree that I thought were really cute. They're supposed to be for a fairy garden, but I think they could work for miniature gnomes. And so I bought this stuff up thinking I could paint them up super cute in colors that I like better. Even though I, I like the mushrooms and I do keep some of the red, I really wanted there to be more pinks and purples and cutesy colors and white. That mailbox is the only thing that came from Dollar General. All the rest of this was from Dollar Tree.
But if you like those colors, you could stop right here and you have a little gnome home that's just perfect size for a little miniature gnome couple. Here's a look at how mine turned out. And a big shout out to my gnomies. Hey, thanks for joining me today, everybody. If you're not already a subscriber, please consider hitting that button if you liked my video. I have a lot more videos coming this year. I'm very excited to be putting out a video every Tuesday and Thursday at 11 a.m. And I have a lot more stuff up my sleeve. See you later.